Welcome to the Ironman 4x4 Superstore. I'd like to show you our recovery wall. So basically we have all the straps and recovery gear here. So we'll go one strap at a time. So these are our snatch straps, the white ones. The white ones are all kinetic straps. So they stretch and give you that added energy for a proper snatch. The only difference between the two straps is the rating. So one is an 8,000 kilo strap and the other one is an 11,000 kilo strap. Snatch straps are used for a snatch pull. Now we must be careful if we see webbing getting loose on the snatch straps, that's not a good sign. The snatch straps come with the protective, protective rubber strap so you can place near your bumper or any sharp object that, he, that might hit the strap which makes it dangerous. Now when using the snatch straps we also have a bow shackle for your tow bar. So it's a metal shackle and this attaches to your receiver. So this is a lot safer. Do not snatch using your tow ball because tow balls have been known to come loose and they become speeding bullets hitting the back of your car or potentially harming people. The orange strap is a non-kinetic winch extension strap. This is a static strap, so it does not stretch. It will also not forgive you if you use it to snatch anything. You should do a steady pull on this with a constant load. It's rated at 4,500 kilos, roughly around 10,000 pounds. And it has a 20 meter length, so it gives you another 20 meters on your winch, just in case you need it. This is our snatch, our snatch block. It's rated at 8,000 kilos. This is used to extend your winch, or if you want to do a turn, or if you want to double the power of your winch, so you use a snatch strap and connect it back to your vehicle. Strongly suggested to use, just in case you need to do a angled pull because so our winches lose a lot of power when you pull to the side so it's better to pull straight through a snatch block and then do the turn so this is what it's for this is a three trunk protector strongly advised to use this when you're winching on a tree um, I know a lot of people who just do loop their cable around the tree and do this back to their winch cable. What this does is when you pull, it tightens the cable to a point where you might break your cable, but definitely you're hurting the tree, which we do not want to do. We don't want people to tell us not to enter their property to go off-roading anymore. This is very important. Sometimes we also use it to extend straps a bit, just in case. So it's a very heavy duty strap. Then we move on to the new generation. So we're so used to seeing the flat, flat webbing straps. This is the new Dyneema snatch straps. They're also kinetic, they stretch. They allow you to snatch the vehicle. So they basically work the same as the kinetic strap. But then the advantage of using Dyneema is they float. Um, they're a lot easier to work on, a lot easier on the hands as well. The Ironman 4x4 snatch roof has this protective nylon cover as well. Most of the nylon stuff don't like hitting sharp objects. So whether on the vehicle being towed, your vehicle, or rocks on the ground, or even mud and dirt, you should protect them very well. Now the, the loops are coated with a rubber coating to avoid damage from your recovery points. Now, we also have the soft shackles. They're made of the same material, but the soft shackles are basically the replacement of your conventional bow shackle. So they all have advantages and disadvantages. Biggest advantage of the metal bow shackle is strength. It's rated a lot higher than the soft shackle. Cost, it's a lot cheaper. But the disadvantage is when the mounting point of the towed vehicle or the towing vehicle gets broken, this is very heavy and it flies through the air really quickly. Most of us don't use rope dampers, but then 
on kinetic straps, we don't actually need them. But when you do a snatch, you create so much energy that a flying few kilo metal object is very dangerous. It usually goes through tailgates. They are known to go through the double wall of the rear of your pickup or your SUV. So this is where the soft shackles come into play. They're so light, you throw them in the water, they float. They're so easy to handle, no more, no more threads to turn. You just pull them to open, push them in to close. But be very careful of where you mount them. And you always use the protective cover when you mount them on sharp objects. So basically this is the new generation. They're all available from us. Now this is a rated recovery point. Most people will say, well, my pickup has original OEM recovery points. Mind you, those are not towing points. The ones that you have in front of your car, they're all pointing down. Those are strapping points. So when your car is loaded on a trailer, that's where you tie them down. Those are tie down points. Now if you look at this, this is made of about 10 to 12 mm thick steel. They mount directly to the chassis. And this is where you mount your soft shackle or your bow shackle for your recovery. So this is the recovery point. The other stuff on the wall, we have our leather gloves. We have rated recovery hooks. These are usually mounted on top of the bumpers or under the chassis. These are used to attach rope or your winch cable also. Now this is a drag chain. We have our high lift jack. High lift jack accessories. This is for lifting a heavy tire using your high lift jack. We also have our spare winch rope, synthetic winch rope, just in case you damage yours. And what are the other stuff? Okay, we have our total traction by treads here, sand ladders. These are made in Australia. They carry a lifetime warranty. So you damage them to proper use, we will replace them. These are priced at 12800 for a pair. Now these are, this is our three-piece shovel. So you can go long shovel, you can go short shovel. And our exhaust jack. It's a 4.2 ton exhaust jack. Um, we've sold a few to rescuers. They use it to lift vehicles. It's a lot easier to use, a lot faster. And usually on soft ground, the exhaust jack works wonders. It doesn't dig into the soft soil. So that's it from our recovery wall. Thank you very much, guys.